All right, today we're continuing on with our series on how to build a e-commerce store with uh, WordPress, WooCommerce, and the Canvas theme. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom child theme for Canvas because we're going to want to add a little bit of extra functionality to what we're doing. I'm going to show you quickly what we're going to do. The uh, reason why we're doing this, once you start filling up your media library with images, WordPress by default doesn't have the greatest sort, search, and find stuff, uh, tools, or features. This is really one of the spots that WordPress is lacking is organizing your media library. It can become a pain when you have, you know, a thousand images in there and you need to go find one. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a plugin that's going to allow us to add categories to, to add our images to. And you see right here, I can sort now. Let's say I just want to find everything I have listed in my bird accessories because I need a particular image from there. And there we go. That is not a default function of WordPress. This is included with a plugin, which we will get to, uh, which we will also get to. But the plugin by default adds the categories to your front end, and you really don't want your image categories on the front end. So we want to add a custom function to prevent the cat image categories from appearing on the front end of your store. And to do that, we want to use a child theme so when we update the canvas theme, our functions don't get overwritten and, and any other customization we may want to do, such as any styles that we may want to add in the CSS style sheet, do not get overwritten. Another thing we want to do is by default, when you add a product, this is a completely different theme, but it works the same way. This is WooCommerce default. When you add a product, you can give your product a title, a key to puppies, like I have here. Under description, it says product description. I would rather have that title be the product description. So what we're going to do, I got I got my child functions theme up, open up here. I'm going to put the, I had deleted the particular function we're going to do, use. And I'm going to add that back, save it, refresh, and show you what happens. And we want to add this into our uh, child functions theme as well. And see now a key to puppy shows up there instead of product description. So those are the first two things. And I am going to leave this code snippet. Actually, I'm going to create the entire child theme. So if you don't want to follow along and learn how to do this, or if you want to learn how to do this, but you want to quickly get it up to your site, I will have the uh, entire child theme available for download. And I will leave a link, uh, a link to it in the description below this video. And it is free. It's completely free. So I, I will put that up for you and leave you a link. And so let's get started. It's really easy to create a child theme for any WordPress theme. This works for any WordPress theme. So what we want to do, you want to FTP in or access your site by cPanel. And you'll see we have Canvas theme. So first thing we'll do is we're going to create a directory. And we're just going to call this Canvas Child. That's a common name and convention for child themes. And in order to make a child theme work, you need to add a style sheet to it. So we're just going to add a style CSS. Make sure it's style. Yeah. We'll go look at Canvas real quick. See the style or styles, and right now I'm pulling a blank, so let me look, see what they got. Okay, yeah, style CSS. That is correct. And we're going to add a little bit of information to the heading of that style CSS. It's going to tell what theme, the way a, the way a child theme works, it pulls in all your parent theme functionality and then just uses whatever changes you put in child theme while using all the rest of your parent theme. So, uh, I got some code snippets here. And let me see where did I put them. I'll go ahead and close out of this. Alright. So, we're going to add a little information here. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Actually, we need to make sure we have our top part commented out too and I'll go over it quickly with you here so let's put this in the, st the uh, style sheet all 
All right, we're going to put the theme name. This is Canvas Child theme. An author, you put your name here or whatever name you want there. And when you put the author URI, it's going to wrap that with this link. And the theme URI is going to leave a description in your back end where the theme's located. And the template name, this is very important, the template name is the exact name of the parent theme. And if it's not capitalized, don't add capital letters. It's spell it exactly the way it is in your theme directory, which in our case would be Canvas, all small letters. And you can add a description here, custom child theme of the Canvas theme, and a version number, I just 1.0.0. .0. And this is licensed under the GNU or the GPL license, which everything at the store is. So that's just the basics of what you need. And we can add a little comment here. Add custom CSS below. Give yourself a little reminder. Go ahead and save that. And now we need to go, we need to create one more. One more file in our child theme is going to be our functions PHP. This is where we're going to add all of our custom functions at. We're going to create a file. We'll call it functions PHP. And what we're going to do in our functions PHP, the very first thing we want to do is we want to tell it to unqueue our child uh, styles. Let me open that up. And we want to make sure we have our uh, our PHP. We want to have our PHP opening tag here. You don't really need to close it in, a, in the functions theme, but you can if you want, if you're more comfortable with closing it. So let's go ahead and put that up there. And what we have here is we have our function telling WordPress to go ahead and unqueue the parent style, the, the original style sheet from Canvas CSS, and then go get ours from, from the uh, template directory, which will be the style.css and add this action on QR child styles and it automatically knows where to go get that for you and we're going to add a couple other functions just go ahead and add them for now and we'll see how they work let me see because this is what we're, these are the changes we're going to make on here this here is we're going to install a plugin and like I said the plugin is going to create categories that we allow us to create categories for our images so we can assign our images to categories so we can sort and find things easier. By default it's going to put those categories on the front end along with your product categories, your post categories, things like that. We don't want that to happen so we're going to add this uh, particular function so that doesn't happen. And in order to get our title to show up instead of the word product description remember right here we're going to add this function and this and these two functions here are, are going to make this work the way we want it to work so, so ah, all right let's get it going here let's go ahead and put that there and we'll go ahead and save that we'll close this out and we're just going to go double check again we're going to open up each one Make sure we have it the way we want it. All right, that's good. And our style sheet. All right, that's good. Now let's go to the back end. We should now see our style sheet available for activation. So let's go to our back end to go to appearance, themes. And there's our Canvas Child theme. There's our Canvas theme. We're going to go ahead and activate the Canvas Child theme. And there should really be no changes on the front end as of yet. Because it's going to use the parent style sheet except where we make changes. So let's go look at the front end. And see, it's still looking like it did in the last video. Alright, so we now have our child style sheet. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go... 
we're going to want to go to uh, plugins add a new plugin now this is not required but if you want to be able to organize your images like I'm showing here then you're going to want to go to plugin forge it's, it's not very expensive it's, and uh, get the media categories plugin and I'll leave a link below for this I'm just going to type the word media in there it should pull it up pretty quick but I'll leave a direct link below Media, there we go. Media Library Categories Premium for WordPress. It's ten bucks. I've already got it to upload, so I'm gonna upload it real quick. So we're gonna go to Plugins. We're gonna add new. I've already got it on my uh, computer. Now, when you download it, make sure you extract it before you try to install this because the actual installation zip file is inside the zipped up file. You'll see a second zip file. That's the one you want to actually install. So, we're going to go to, you got that, the, the zip file, you've downloaded that, you've unzipped it, and then you're going to install this zip files, the installable zip file. And we'll install that. We're going to activate. And you'll see now on your media tab, you now have categories. So you can think of all the categories you want, or you can add them on the fly as well. We'll, we'll get into that later. But you can start adding categories here. And then when you upload an image, or you go to your image library, for example, I have this Akita Puppies here. And we can go here, we can add a new category, and I'm just going to call it Puppies. And now our Akita puppies is in the in that category. So when we go to our library, if we want, if we needed to sort, if you have a whole bunch, we could go here. Oops, we forgot that. Did we not add it? All right, let's edit this. Make sure our Akita puppies is in our puppies library. I thought I had done that. There we go. And now when you go to libraries, if you needed to sort. You can now sort by puppies and get all your pictures of your puppies. So this is not required, but if you're going to do a lot of images, it's highly recommended. You have a way to sort, manage, group your images, and this is really the best way to do it, the easiest way. And that's all there is to create a child theme. Our next video, we're going to start adding products, and we're going to add, I think I got a six product categories on my list here we're going to add seven products we're going to do a basic product we're going to do a variable product with colors we're going to do a variable product with pictures we're going to do a product variable product with weight variable product with dimensions and we're going to do a virtual product and a downloadable product and we're going to get into the media categories plug in a little bit more that, that we just installed in this child theme we're going to work with that in our images and we're going to do var variation swatches and photo plug-in if you want to go ahead and get those. It's going to allow us to use color selectors and image selectors for our products. And we're going to take a look at the default WooCommerce product categories widget that comes with WooCommerce for displaying our product categories in the sidebar. And then we're going to change it out with one I developed for specifically for this site. It's product category selection widget. It's going to allow us to break up our product categories instead of displaying them all in one widget like the default WooCommerce does we can break that up and have several widgets with different product categories assigned to them that is free it's also on the website and we'll get more into all that on the next video so if you like this video how about giving me a like a share a comment all the above visit uh, pluginforge.com for really good deals on WooCommerce and WordPress plugins and themes and SkeeterZ71.com for a whole bunch of web and graphic design video tutorials absolutely free to see. And you have a good day.